Hey everybody, this is Doug Knack with Hissy Fit Reptiles, and in today's video, you're going to see an interview I did with Ozzy from Ozzy Boyds. This video was recorded back at the November Tinley Park Show in 2018, and it was a really, really great interview. He showed off a lot of really cool stuff. He kind of goes in detail about his high-intensity Orange Dream line, as well as showing some really cool Super Orange Dream stuff. Now, I only did the one interview. Usually, you see me do these kind of Tinley Park videos, and I have three or four or five interviews with people. Uh, this time, I only did get the one interview. Uh, I just kind of got sidetracked with a lot of stuff, right into a lot of people. Ended up talking a lot of uh, stuff with people. Uh, did a sit-down interview with Brian Cusco from Triple B TV, which he has on his YouTube channel, Triple B TV. So check it out. I have a link below for that. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, meeting and talking with people. I ended up leaving out early on Sunday because the weather was going to get bad on my drive home, so I wanted to get going early, which kind of prevented me from getting more videos taken. However, you're in for a real treat because this video and this interview I did with Ozzy is an amazing, amazing video. He shows off some really amazing snakes. I'm going to have a link to his YouTube, or, yeah, his YouTube and his uh, website and uh, Morph Market stuff. Uh, in the description, so make sure you check that stuff out. Follow Ozzy uh, on other, other social media as well, so I'll have all the links below. Really, really great guy. Really awesome animals. Hope you enjoy. This is Ozzy from Ozzy Boyd's. You're watching Hissy Fit Reptiles. These are Reptiles Remixed. How's it going today, Oz? Good, man. Good. Good weekend so far? Yeah, it's been a great weekend, man. Awesome. It's awesome. always a blast coming, uh, coming to the Tinley Park show. Definitely, definitely. You always have some really hot Orange Dream stuff. Um, today is no exception. You got uh, some really sweet stuff here on the table. Mind sharing with us what uh, you kind of brought, to uh, the, yeah, brought today. I know a lot of this stuff's absolutely. not for sale. Actually, I, yeah. This whole rack, I don't think it's for sale. <laughs> this entire rack is not for sale. So I just brought uh, you know a handful of some of my holdbacks from uh, this year, 2018. Yep. And as you can see, there's a nice variety, several different genes, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, show people what we're working with and show people uh, the potential of some of these uh, morphs. Definitely. Uh, trying to create some inspiration, create some excitement, which is good for the hobby. For sure. So, That's starting down here, this is a high intensity, uh, super orange dream fire leopard. Awesome. Do you mind elaborating a little bit on the high intensity? I know I've seen you uh, post some high intensity stuff on Facebook and stuff like that as far as talking about um, that. Did that just kind of come up, come about from bre yeah. uh, selective breeding basically? And Yeah, so so the high intensity gene originated with a yellow belly dream bee female that I hatched out I think in 2008. Okay. And that female, she was exceptional. She's an amazing looking snake. And for years I was breeding her. Actually, that was a snake that gave me the first super orange dream clutch in 2008. 2011. Okay. Now, that female, you know, she just looks so unusual and so much better than any of the other uh, yellow belly dream bees that I produced. Sure. And for years, I, I was producing stuff, and I would just produce some really, really nice um, orange dreams, uh, and I would hold back a lot of that stuff. And people used to comment to me all the time, "Your orange dreams, you know, they just look so much brighter and better." And uh, after a while, I started to realize that there is a difference, you know. I would hatch out orange green fires in a clutch, you know, from, from a super orange green fire, and I would have some that look completely different than others. Sure. And, you know, and then the next thing that kind of tipped me off was I sold a couple of animals as super orange dream. I thought okay. they were super orange dreams. They, they looked like super orange dreams in appearance. Sure, they're and really I, nice. They, they really turned out to be single dream, uh, single gene orange dreams. Okay. And then I started, you know, so all of that evidence started to build and I started to realize that there's something different, something going on. Um, I thought that maybe there was another gene. I was doing some uh, breeding experiments, but I, could, I couldn't isolate anything else. Sure. And eventually I just realized that at some point I had some orange dreams and I just think that they got tweaked. Gotcha. And, I, and I labeled them high intensity because they just, you know, they look amazing and they right. just, you know, this is a single dose high intensity. Uh, super orange dream, meaning that this snake will throw 
regular orange dreams and high intensity orange dreams in the same clutch. Okay. And you could definitely, when you breed this snake, you could definitely separate the high intensity orange dream fires from the regular orange dream fires. Sure. So that that's the high intensity uh, story in a nutshell. Awesome. That's pretty awesome. That's a, well, that's part of the fun of the whole thing too. Is just all you know, it's long but grueling, but really cool process and, and trying to prove stuff all like that. Yeah, and and you know the the ball python genome is just prone to random mutation. So yep. that's why people <laughs> pop out new morphs. You know, quite frequently. Yep. And uh, and every now and then, you just you know you, you hatch out an animal, and you can't figure out how the hell you hatched out that animal based <laughs> right. on genetics. So just keep keep that in mind when you're breeding and producing stuff. Sure. This here is a uh, uh, Cypress um, Enchi Freeway. So I believe that to be a world's first. That's pretty awesome. Cypress, you know, I know, is kind of starting to pick up some steam. I know uh, yeah. Cypress Con stuff and stuff like that. So definitely. Yeah, Cy cool. Cypress is a really really cool gene, and there's a super form. Um, some of them have a little bit of a wobble, so it kind of discourages people. Sure. But uh, you know, it's it's still it's still a really really cool gene, you know. Yep. This here is a uh, uh, orange dream freeway. Very nice. Very nice. That orange dream really adds a lot of uh, good coloration to that. Yeah, good coloration, good contrast, and the really really cool thing about this combo right here is this is the way it looks as an adult. So it looks just as beautiful as an adult as it does as a baby. So right. that's why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of veering away from some of my other Yellow Belly Complex uh, projects to focus specifically on the freeway stuff. I love the freeway stuff. Sure, that's pretty awesome. And you know, you, you can check out Billy Rose Mutation Creation. He's got a lot of cool freeway a stuff. A lot of freeway so, stuff, yeah. Next up up here is some of the uh, leopards that I've been playing around with. Okay. Uh, I got into the leopard game a little late, but I really, really love the leopards and, and what it does uh, with Orange Dream and Enchi. This here is a Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi, Yellow Belly Leopard, Pass Head Pied Male. This Very snake cool. looks like it's going to prove out to be Head Pied too. Okay. It's just a little, little powerhouse male that I'm holding back. I'm going to play around with this and try to you know, take my pie projects to the next level. Definitely. So, awesome. yeah. So leopard, leopard. Leopard. That's where it's at. Man. Yep. There's some really, really cool pattern stuff with leopard. Here's another one. I believe this. I'm, I'm after visiting Marcus Mandic uh, at the Toronto show. Um, I believe this to be a Super Orange Dream Enchi Lesser Leopard. Okay. And this thing just came out really, really wild. I, I, I was thinking maybe it's a tri stripe, but it was another recessive gene hiding in here. It's just a really, really cool snake and not a difficult snake to make. Right. Right? Right. Very cool. This here is a Super Orange Dream Enchi Pied. Again, you know, the Orange Dream Pied stuff I'm playing around with and um, just trying to take it to the next level. Yep. And, um, you know, you see some of the stuff that Justin is producing too. It's just, just off the charts, but, you know, Pieds are really, really cool and just, you know, yeah, and that orange stacking, dream stacking that orange dream and a gene X and some of these other genes just really, really make them pop. Very nice. This here is I, not the bongo. This is a bongo, super orange dream, yellow belly bongo. Yeah. I mean, this, this, this is a, another example of a snake that's just you know. Uh, I, I think it's just a value purchase right now. You can get bongos for so cheap, and and we, we haven't really done a whole lot with them yet. Right. So, just really, really love this snake. I love how busy the pattern gets because of that bongo and stuff in there. Yeah. You know, and then this can you nice, imagine nice this? Stripe and can you imagine this as a clown? Right, no kidding. That, that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. For sure. All right, and then another cool gene that I've been playing around with is uh, the Puzzle. Puzzle yep. is a recessive project. Yep. Uh, it's originated with uh, Exotics by Nature. Um, here is a soup, what I believe to be a Super Orange Dream Pastel Puzzle. There's some weird, weird stuff going on with the puzzle project. My uh, original female came directly from Sean. Okay. Um, I've been seeing some weird things pop up, and I believe he suspects that there's some stuff uh, hiding in the puzzle project too. Okay. So this is just a really cool snake that I'm playing with. Okay. This one here, I believe to be Orange Dream Yellow Belly. It's a possible super too. Okay. Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pastel Puzzle. Just check out the side pattern compared yeah. to that one. Yeah, that, I, I think that has something to do with that that other gene that's hiding in there. Okay. 
but definitely this, cool. this is just a really, 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 really cool project, man. I just love this stuff. So it's a, a lot to do with Puzzle, yeah, because there's this pretty, um, there's not a lot of people working with it yet, and yeah. Um, yeah, and just some really cool that, stuff. That's another project that I think is, uh, that I think is, uh, you know, it's, it's the value, you know, yep. based on a rarity and a potential, I just think it's a bargain. So I encourage people to go out and get some puzzles if they can, sure. and um, you know, plug it into their projects. I don't think they'll be disappointed. Definitely. Um, up here, we'll start with some Super Orange Dreams. Here's a Super Orange Dream, Fire Clown. Awesome. Well, I, just, I, I love these. I've hatched out a few of these now in the past couple of years, and I've kept them all. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully next year I'll start selling some. You know, if I yeah. produce more, but you know, this plugged into the Batman and some of the other clown projects is just gonna be, you know, next level stuff. Yeah, I always love the head patterns on those things, it's so awesome. <laughs> this is the same snake with uh, the addition of spider. So this okay. is this is I know this looks like a super dream bee fire, but it is also a clown. Okay. Just the, a beautiful, the head, beautiful the, clean. The head kinda give it away you say it? Yeah, the head, the color. color and the and the pattern. Awesome. Very clean, very clean. Yeah. Here's a possible super orange dream banana super gravel. So this is another double super. Uh, this is from the highway complex. And just, you know, beautiful, colorful snake. Very nice. That's a nice coloration in there. This is one of my favorites. This came from a red stripe breeding. Okay. And I believe this to be an orange dream inchy leopard banana red stripe. Awesome. It's like, I wanted to bring this snake because people see pictures of this snake and they think it's fake. <laughs> I don't Photoshop, man. That's, that's the real deal. This here is um, Pastel VPI Xanthic Desert Ghost. I'm working on this project and you know, over the next few years you're going to see me take this into Pied, into Clown, and into some other stuff. Awesome. I, I do... Um I got into Desert Ghosts a couple years ago, I man. I love that gene. It's just so awesome. Yeah. Is he still sleeping? Cleans everything up and, and how it looks like as adults. It's just amazing. And so <laughs> Absolutely. I guess that's going to be awesome as an adult. It's not going to be like that brownish color, I don't think. Yeah. No. Like, you, know, you see a lot of the yeah. Xanthics yeah. yeah. as they get older, they kind of start to like, brown. Well, maybe have exactly. And you know, the, the Desert Ghost, it just, you know, it gets better as it grows. <laughs> yeah. Last, certainly not least, this is another animal from the Freeway Project. <laughs> okay. I believe this to be an orange dream and she. Spider Banana Freeway. Okay. Awesome. This thing is just amazing. Very cool. Nice. Go get some freeways. Really cool man. Stuff, yeah. Go get some freeways. Definitely, yep. That yellow belly project stuff, like freeways and all that. Is yeah, yeah, with the leopard thrown in, it, yep. just, it gets better and better. Awesome. Now, if people want to uh, get stuff for that are you have available for sale, what's the best way for them to uh, get a hold of you, like besides seeing um, you at shows and stuff? Yeah, the, the, the best way is to go to Morph Market, check out my store on Morph Market. Um, I also keep a pretty updated list uh, on my website, so ozzyboys.com. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot of my whole facts and I post updates on some of my projects and some of my clutches as they hatch. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Ozzy. I'm probably going to snack some uh, video footage of some of your other stuff you have for sale and all that kind of good stuff, and I appreciate your time, and have a good rest of the weekend here. Thanks for stopping by. All right, thanks, Ozzy.